Now, Action 3 Sports brought to you by Omaha Marine Center, Nebraska's best full-service boat dealer. They say all good things come in threes, like the Mass Effect trilogy, the Hunger Games books, Ali Frazier, the first three Die Hard movies, and now Virginia, Florida. It was Survival Saturday at the CWS, and the Gators and Cavs clashed in a loser leaves town match. The winner, they get to move on to the CWS finals to play Vanderbilt. Bottom one is where we pick the action up. Cavs, Matt Tice doing it for Missy, and Timbaland and Magoo doing it for VA. Solo shot, one nothing. Cavs out in front, top two now. Peter Alonzo looking like Bane at the dish. You merely adopted pitching. I was here with the bat. I was born with it, molded by it. Two run shot with it, two to one. Florida on top, top five. More from the Gators. Harrison, Darth Bader, solo bomb, dead center. Gator Empire strikes back. That's right, three two. Florida on top, bottom five now. UVA making the comeback. Kenny Town so clutch, it's clutch again. Two RBI double. Cavs go up one. Bottom seven now, tie game. Guess who's at the dish? Towns. It's a sack fly, gives them the lead, and they win. We will have a rematch. They win five to four, and we have a rematch because there was another team that punched their ticket last night. The Vanderbilt Commodores remained undefeated in the CWS with a big win over TCU. Vandy is looking for a second straight championship, and they will be the first team to accomplish that feat since fellow SEC squad South Carolina did it in 2010 and 2011. Yeah, I think any time you, you get back to the series that we're about to go into, it's it's pretty exciting and it's you know, it's your goal coming into the year is first to get to Omaha and then once you get here is to get to that series. So no, I don't think there's any any damper on it because we were here last year. It's so special. I mean, you, you walk around our locker room right now, everyone's fired up. I find so much excitement out of it because the guys that weren't here last year, just for them to be able to get back here after hearing about what it was like last year, and, and sometimes you're around these guys and you don't even want to really talk about it because you feel so like they missed out on it, and just to get back here for those guys is what's so special. We're just about five days away from the NBA draft, and Husker fans will be anxious to see where former Husker Taron Petaway ends up. Mock drafts are still all over the board with them as high as early second round on NBADraft.net to undrafted, according to several sites. The good news is that he's apparently been impressive during workouts with individual teams. In fact, he impressed the Pistons enough they invited him back for a second workout. He also worked out with the Milwaukee Bucks earlier this week. Play of the Day, sponsored by Pyramid Roofing. Max Scherzer was one out away from a perfect game today when Jose Tabata leans into a pitch. The replay clearly shows he leaned in, which is ridiculous. And if I were the commissioner, it would be grounds for banishment. Scherzer regrouped and got the next batter to fly out, so he ends up with a no-hitter, which, just so we're clear, is still amazing and still worth celebrating, but hopefully we can at least get a ban Tabata hashtag started or something like that. So that wraps up our coverage from today at TD Ameritrade Park. We'll be back here on Monday for the CWS Finals. Now it's time for news after this break.